In the 19th century, a remarkable transformation was underway in the world of finance. It was a time of burgeoning empires, rapid industrialization, and the expansion of global trade. Amidst this backdrop, a seemingly ordinary currency from a relatively small island nation embarked on a journey that would see it rise to become the world's global reserve currency, the British pound sterling. The story begins with Britain, a nation in the midst of an industrial revolution. Factories were buzzing with activity and the British Empire's influence stretched across the globe. As British-made goods flowed into colonies and trading partners, the pound sterling gained a reputation for reliability and economic prowess. It was a symbol of Britain's growing industrial might. But it wasn't just industry that propelled the pound to international stardom. It was the vast reach of the British Empire. The Empire's colonial holdings spanned continents, facilitating trade and providing access to valuable resources. As trade routes were established, the pound sterling naturally became the preferred currency for international transactions within the empire. It was the glue that bound the far-flung corners of the empire together economically. In 1821, Britain took a momentous step by officially adopting the gold standard. This meant that the value of the pound was now tied to a fixed quantity of gold, instilling a confidence in the currency and making it a reliable store of value. Other nations, seeking the stability of the pound, began to peg their own currencies to it, effectively linking themselves to the gold standard indirectly. The City of London emerged as the global financial epicenter during this time. Its banking institutions, including the renowned Bank of England, played a pivotal role in facilitating international trade and finance. London became the place where deals were struck, investments were made, and the pound sterling's influence grew exponentially. Britain, known for its shrewd negotiations, forged an intricate web of trade agreements with other nations. These agreements, built on trust and economic interdependence, encouraged the use of the pound in international trade and finance. It wasn't just the economic strength of the pound, but also the diplomatic finesse of the British that made it the currency of choice in many international transactions. As the 19th century unfolded, the impact of the pound sterling's rise to prominence became evident. It simplified international trade, eliminating the need for cumbersome currency conversions, and mitigating exchange rate risks. Britain's dominance, both economically and politically, was further enhanced as the pound became a symbol of the empire's global reach. The use of a single, dominant reserve currency laid the groundwork for globalization by reducing friction in international transactions. It made it easier for countries to engage in trade, investment, and economic cooperation. However, this ascent of the pound posed challenges for competing currencies, such as the French franc and Dutch guilder, which saw their roles on the global stage diminish. In conclusion, the 19th century witnessed the transformation of the pound sterling from a local currency to the world's primary reserve currency. Rooted in British economic power, extensive colonial holdings, the adoption of the gold standard, London's financial prowess, and a network of international trade agreements, the pound's journey forever altered the global financial landscape. It was a remarkable story that changed the course of history and paved the way for modern global economies.